Wait a second, isn't this the guy we weren't even bothering recruiting anymore? What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome back to our North Texas Dynasty. It is the regular season finale. We are playing six and five Marshall. We are riding a seven game win streak. We are nine and two, undefeated in Conference USA. Now the kicker is, we have already clinched our division. We will be playing in the Conference USA Championship next week because we're two games up on Kentucky and obviously the last game. But on their side, if Marshall beats us, they're also playing. So if we lose, we're gonna have to rematch them next week anyways. And if we win, then who knows what goes on. But we could be playing either Marshall, Mid-Tennessee State, Florida International, or Old Dominion. And I would personally root for Old Dominion just because we haven't played them yet. However, I feel like there's some things that are bigger than victories right now. And that's season awards. Now, if you look here, On is actually 10th in passing yards for the season. Holy cow, look at the wa look at the Washington State quarterback. Rushing leaders, we are 10th. We are 200 behind Roundtree. Probably not going to catch him, but Nick Smith is going for the Heisman. Bussy, yeesh. Muhammad somehow, he is two tackles behind for the lead. I wish he was one tackle behind for the lead. Yes, I'm still salty about that one tackle. And Sachs, Naville is one and a half behind Garcia. And I'm looking at Garcia and Roach and can't help but feel like they got a lot of those sacks against me. We are third in the nation behind Tua Tagovailoa and Trevor Lawrence. I trip up on his name because I keep wanting to say Tua Tagovailoa. Wow, I just got it right when I was trying to prove that I got it wrong. Dang it. But if you look, comparable in yards, we're only, you know, like 150, 200 behind these guys. Not too bad. Three touchdowns behind Tua. But interceptions, we have 21. We are tied for lead in the nation along with our buddy Abraham from Southern Mississippi. We're also on the lookout, so for award finalists, you got Nick Smith on top of a pretty good amount. Maxwell, Walter Camp, Lombardi. No, again, but these are defensive ends. Oh no, there is the tackle. Now wait a second, so now I got a I got a bone to pick here. 25 tackles, 20 TFL, 17 assisted tackles, eight sacks and forced fumble. You're telling me Navo can't compete with that? But the other one here, Gaddy is six for the Thorpe Award. And I don't see coach of the year, but I think we're a finalist for that as well. Now, what's funny, if you go into bold projections, UTEP gets to play Houston. Okay, that's fine. Marshall is going to take on Air Force. That's kind of winnable for them, too. Not too bad. We are going to get rewarded with LSU. Are you kidding me? Now, for some reason, Marvin Harris, I don't know what happened with USC. I think they took their points away, but all of a sudden, we have a 1,300-point lead. He would be a good cornerback. He would be a good safety. He might even be a decent linebacker. He'd be a good wide receiver. Might even be a decent tight end. But enough about the stuff we can't control. What we can't control is this game against Marshall. I do want to win, but I'm not 100% concerned. I, like I said, I want to get Nick Smith some rushing yards. Even some passing yards. So we're just going to sort of let him run all over Marshall as much as we can. Oh, it's a snow game. Perfect. We're in our camouflage, boys. They'll never see us. Oh, the other thing I've had to bring up. So, Deshaun Gaddy. He's actually Deshaun Gaddy Jr., and he is proudly wearing number 17 this season, so I adjusted him accordingly. All right, Smith, we are not off to a good start there, bud. That was entirely inaccurate. That wasn't even close. This guy is Superman over here. What is he doing? Keep him down. Thank you. All right. Good. I think we're finally figuring out this running game now. I mean, I have to keep exclusively running halfback dive, but it's working. I mean, Nick Smith doesn't have to be 100% of our offense. He's just going to be the focal point. It is reassuring knowing that my offensive line, like, across the board is going to be better. Like, even though we're losing some 80 overalls, we're still mostly going to be better. Gotcha. Oh, for once I read a screenplay and I got the tackle. Oh, that was an incompletion. I was hoping for a fumble. Nothing but daylight up there. Here we go. I'll pass it here. Finally got the angle smash. I don't know if it's going to work. It looks like it's not. 
Ah, it worked. I don't throw that pass to get, you know, 20, 30 yards, although it happens sometimes. That's just for, you know, some easy yards. Like, look at... I don't know how the blocking's gonna work, but look at how much space I could potentially have here. We're on angle smash again. Now that I have it in my history. Because I'm okay taking Smith out there, too, if he's open. But now, you're, instead of me having to throw to Kelvin Smith, I got Nick Smith. Alright, so the first drive, they were unstoppable, and then the last drive, they couldn't move. So which one's it gonna be? Blown coverage by Whitlock. Wasn't that... I was playing man. Gaddy, once again, always reliable. Now, he's up to a 70 right now. I haven't touched him. I don't know if that's because of the bonuses you get from your defensive coordinator. Or if they do actually progress a little bit during the season, too. I'm not sure. Because I swear on was like a 71. And now he's up to like a 74. Busted coverage. We had nine men playing coverage, and they still got that. Gaddy's starting to get winded over there. We can't do anything about that one. I mean, he's just fast. Oh, God, no one... I just saw a blocker running past where the linebacker used to be. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Oh, they're bringing that heavy blitz on that side. Nope. This is what happens when you have a Heisman candidate, though. He doesn't care if you get in the backfield. We're going to break that. Got them pinned down to the eight. We're not getting a safety, but hopefully this means we can stop them from scoring. Whitlock, how did you get faked out like that, man? Now, the last time I played a prevent defense, somehow no one was covering someone back in the back here. Man, he ran backwards. He would have that first down and he decided to change his mind and go back. Oh no, Gaddy's on a blitz. Never mind. This might work. Except somehow I ended up with my D tackle in coverage. Did they seriously jump off sides? Oh, look, the rest got little adorable gloves on. Oh, my God. I hate the screen passes only because if we get even just, like, chipped a little bit, we don't have the speed to catch up with them. So once he's in open space, he's gone. Gaddy's already had six tackles. The blitz got him. For once, the blitz got him. That means we still hold the lead somehow. I am tempted to go for two. Because if we score a touchdown, we're still only up by eight. If we go for two, we're up by nine. But if we don't get the two-point conversion, then we're still up by seven. So I think that if I get a touchdown here, I think that's what I got to do. Really? You didn't give me that? Now we're going to run a hurry up. Nice big run, and it wasn't even Nick Smith because he was tired. The perfect, like, look at all that beautiful blocking. The downfield blocked by Kelvin Smith. And it was Tory. Somehow that went over the linebacker's head. And I think Smith is actually injured somehow. On that ta that half tack, look at that. Somehow that, oh, because he, now he's up walking again, maybe not. No, wait, he's not in the game again. Shoot. This ruins my whole game plan. Run for your life on! I have not had a major injury all season. That would be my luck to get my Heisman candidate injured in the last regular season game when I'm making that push. 
I think what I'll do, if I don't get the touchdown here, I'll bleed the clock down. Like, if I get a completion here, I'll bleed the clock down, let the quarter run out, and I'm going to see if Smith comes back in after. Now I'll take that touchdown if I got it, though. All right. Kelvin Smith, can I get you here? Yes, I can. That was a win-win right there, because, again, if we had not gotten it, we still would have been up by seven. Hit pointer out for game. He had a decent game, though. I mean, he had 100 yards. He hits a receiving touchdown. So, it's not what I wanted to do. But he... If he's back for the... If he is back for the conference championship, then at least he can still go for the Heisman. I'm not as worried if they score. I'm worried if they just do it in no time at all. Oh, he got the glitch. That plays glitch sometimes. Dang it. I would have rushed up on him, but I saw no Novel about to get another sack. I was hoping. That used to happen to me all the time. That's one of those plays where I always run it when I try a new playbook to see if it works or not. I blew that zone. See, it's not that they're going to score. It's that they're going to... They're already down here in the red zone. And it's only taking them a minute. Nah, couldn't stop him. Never mind, I'm mistaken. Now he's got a sack, too. He's a 66 overall junior, is what he is. Look, I may have gotten antsy looking forward to everything, and I may have handwritten down the entire depth chart for next season, adding in the new recruits. Don't judge me. All right, they're going to get a touchdown here, but the question is, can we get one stop to kill some more clock? Thank you! Or Muhammad could come up with the clutch pick. A whole season of Muhammad having the interceptions bounce right off his hand. He decides now, probably when we need it the most, this is when I'm going to get my pick. You cheeky bugger. Oh, I take back all the bad things I said about you. And we'll give Tori a good workout. He's on the team next year, too. He's probably going to be the fullback. Ooh, actually, maybe I could redshirt him. I don't think he's been redshirted yet. Or maybe it's Smith. Has Smith been redshirted? I would start passing the ball to build up some of Vaughn's stats, but he's got some touchdowns already. And I don't know, because of the snow, I don't know how it's going to affect our ability to catch. I was going to audible, but I don't think I have time. All right. Yeah, they were expecting a run. I want to see if I can't get one more touchdown pass here. Bussy deserves better. He dropped it. Never mind. Yeah, I don't care much for going for field goal, but I can't win. The field goal does nothing. He fumbles it out of bounds. I can't with this team sometimes, man. I mean, yeah, his knee... It, it doesn't... This is the most useless waste of time. All right, now usually Smith gets left wide open here. Austin on player of the game, with 87 yards passing. Go figure. I like looking at their screenshots. That's a pretty good shot, actually. That one's not bad. A lot of these are crap, though. Like this. What is this? You know what? This was an ugly game, but we didn't take a sack. We didn't turn the ball over. We had over 200 yards on the ground. Smith with 102. Two broken tackles today, though. Torrey with 92, and then on had that one scramble for 11. Smith, four catches for 33. Darden, three for 41 in the touchdown. Kelvin Smith, one catch, one yard, one touchdown. Muhammad had eight tackles. Gaddy had six at the beginning of the third quarter, and he didn't do anything else in the rest of the game. But Muhammad with the tackle for loss, a sack. Robinson got that interception. On the bottom of the screen, it said Muhammad got it, but it was actually Robinson. And I do remember it being number 24 getting it, so Muhammad still didn't get it. So never mind. But guys, that'll wrap it up for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see the conference championship game coming tomorrow, be sure to subscribe. That's right, for the rest of this week, because the North Texas, their regular season debut game against some FCS team, who I don't know what the acronym stands for, that is happening this Saturday on the 31st. So I'm going to post an episode of UNT for the rest of this week. Tomorrow you have the conference championship. 
Friday, you will have whatever our bowl game is going to be. And Saturday will be the full off-season everything that we do. So be sure to subscribe for all of that. Hit the bell to get notified, just in case you forget. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Shane, and I am out.